On my quest to flash the M6, I found another root method. This is called Simple Root OTA, and it comes to you from um, these guys here, Toast, who is pretty awesome and is doing great work on the Evo and did some awesome work on the Hero as well. Um, Steel H, Anonymous User, WebOS 5, and all these guys. So the only requirements, you need to download Microsoft.NET Framework and install it, HTC Sync, and install it. Okay, yes, install it on my computer. I don't know what this is. Because I'm a noob. Welcome back once this is all done. At least that Microsoft.net thing is done installing. <laughs> Alright. So it looks like installation is finally complete on the Microsoft.net thing. That took a long time. I'm not really sure why it took so long. So now I just need to install HTC Sync. Um, yes, I want to install. Select language, English, sounds good to me. Uh, if you have a trophy anti-virus software, then do it. If you don't, then it doesn't matter because if you're, you're a dumb-dumb and you need it on accept terms, yes. Complete, sure. Alright, it looks like it installed. Install show it install the GT sync. Click finish to exit the wizard. Okay, so now I'm going to download the actual Hey, where's a oh, mirror. Is this a simple root? Okay, here it is. The OTA simple root dot zip. Oh wow, that's big. Big 176 megabytes. It's gonna take a little bit. So we'll come back once it's all done downloading there. It's kind of a big file size. Alright, so just open up, now that it's all unzipped, just get into that folder, click on OTA Simple Root, it's an application file, so um, when you double click that, it's going to open up this little guy right here. Of course, make sure your phone's plugged in. Um, and now we want to enable, well, let's go ahead and click step one. Now it's going to tell you t you need to enable USB debugging. So to do that, you're just going to follow the instructions right there. Menu, settings, applications, development, USB debugging. Click on that, and then get back to your home screen here. I'm just going to keep this, the Evo on screen here so you can see what's going on with it. Yes, it is enabled. Now it's going to push the files. Step one is basically pushing all the files you're going to need to uh, complete the route here. So this is going to take a while. Uh, just keep that in mind. It's going to take a could take a few minutes. So just keep an eye on that and just wait for it to say continue or do whatever. But just, yeah, just wait. Yay! It looks like um, pushing all the files is complete. It says right there. So press any key to continue. Go ahead and do that. It's going to take you straight to the factory reset here. It wants you to um, basically erase everything, you're going to perform a factory reset. And once the phone boots up again, we're just going to skip in the whole sign-in process. We don't need to worry about that right now. Basically, we're just trying to focus on rooting and getting this sucker rooted in a custom recovery and flashing a custom ROM onto here. You're going to see that little guy and stuff. And then, of course, after this is all done, you're going to see the normal... Um, HTC Evo boot screen and then the uh, 4G, Sprint 4G animation thing going on. Uh, once that's all done, it's going to get into your um, your home screen. And once you get into your home screen, um, I'll come back. Alright, so like it says up there, I just want to skip the whole sign-in process. And I don't know, you can see it on my computer, but this is actually a red screen there, so that's kind of normal. I just want to click next, skip, skip, next, skip, and click done, charge only, that's fine. And since we went ahead and did a factory reset, we're going to have to enable USB debugging again, USB debugging. Settings, applications once again, development, USB debugging. I'm going to click on stay awake just for this video's sake here. And if you'll notice at the top, it says USB debugging connected. That's normal and good. And let's get back to the home screen. All right, so now that we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and click any key to continue. And now we are going to go into step two. Clear the browser. So it's asking to make sure you have USB debugging connected. We are. And it's running part one of part two. Okay, power down your phone from the power menu and power on your phone again, then click on step three. So we need to power down, 
Just hold down the power button here on the top, power off. And it's going to say um, terminated SHSD part one. Uh, press any key to continue. Um, I'm just going to power back on. Oops, almost forgot. And it's telling me to press any key to continue. Uh, I'm not really sure if I want to do that right now because I hate when it. Oh, but it's telling me to go to step three, so I guess I can. So let's go ahead and click any key to continue. Once it powers back up, we're going to go on to step three right there. It shouldn't take nearly as long as the first time because um, we're not coming from a factory set anymore. And you don't need to enable USB debugging because we didn't factory or didn't wipe or do anything, so we're good. And we need to continue on to step three, so let's use the flash hack now. And it's running part one, da 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 da, one of two. Now it's going to tell us to visit that link in our internet browser app. So I'm going to actually turn on my Wi-Fi because, um, as you can see here, I have a pretty bad connection in my house. I always do. It's like a black hole. Kind of frustrating, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on Wi-Fi. So once my Wi-Fi boots up there, then we're going to fi finish <clears throat> or continue on. Okay. So now we need to open up our internet browser. Let's go ahead and do that. Hey, get out of here. Go. Oh, get get out of here. I'm working. Let's go ahead and stop that. And we're going to go to bit.ly. Bit.ly. Backslash DG. And then capital T W C P. Right? DG. Yeah. Okay. And enter to go. And it should take us to this weird little flash site here. And from here, um, it's going to say, say something weird. Refresh that page or reopen it, which is kind of weird, but um, that's fine. Complete, close this window, and continue to step four. Press any key to continue. All right, so it looks like it did whatever it needed to do here. And we can continue on to step four. Let's go back to your home screen here. We're going to go to Reboot and Scan. Now I believe it's going to reboot my phone or do something crazy. doing some work there, root root, some weird stuff. Um, that's okay too, just let it sit for a while because I believe it's going to reboot again. Um, just click done. There it goes. Okay, so now we have some new text up here. Once your phone is in the screen with the skating androids, press the power button to go into bootloader. Um, okay, it's right there. So we'll go ahead and press the power button to get into bootloader. And it's going to say, it says, wait until the device prompts you to install the update. Press up to install and wait for completion. Then press up when asked to reboot. Press any key to continue. So we're just going to wait. It's looking for some sort of a... Uh, PCIMG image thing here. Uh, you can see the little load load status bar right there. It's just, um, I think it's unzipping the file or doing something crazy. So let's just wait and let it do its thing. Um, we could actually press any key to continue to take down this prompt, but I kind of want to sit there to make sure everything, I don't know, we know what we're doing. <laughs> 